ladies and gentlemen, this is Artemis here with my first game of 6th edition 40k, finally, yes I know. Uh, deploying today on this 1500 point game, we have two squads of 10 Dire Avengers, each with Twin Link Catapults and Bladestorm and Defend. We have two squads of Pathfinders taking cover, two Fire Prisms, an Old Sculpt and a newer one, if that would focus nicely. There's the old, there's the new. We have the Avatar of Cain just sitting here getting ready to charge in and take out whatever. Eldra with this squad of Dire Avengers will be my Warlord, just sticking with the standard Eldar psychic powers. Today, facing my buddy Joel, so far on the table he has these two tanks here with the rest of his army in reserve, and amongst this massive, massive amount of backlog here. It feels a lot like being home. Uh, my HQ choice, once again, Eldrad got... What was that? Warlord trade, Joel? What was it called? Well, whatever it was, it was a case of I get to re-roll misses of ones on shooting attacks when an enemy troop is within three inches of an objective. Joel has the ability to use Furious Charge when his HQ is in my objective zone. So, we'll come back shortly after the first turn, which will be me. Unless my opponent wants to steal the objective, we will come back and inform you on that later. Alright, so here we are at the bottom of turn one, where Joel actually managed to steal initiative. Uh, sends in this tactical squad and just clears out my pathfinders with a combi flamer and some bolter fire. Uh, this guy over here took two penetrating hits. He's only shaken, but he's down to one hull point left. And my avatar just got poisoned massively. He's got one wound left, three down. Uh, so my best chance, obviously, is going to be to assault into this. So we'll see how this goes on my turn to retaliate. Uh, back in a minute. Alright, everyone, bottom of turn one. Die Avengers busted around and Bladestorm that Devastator, or not Devastator, Sternguard squad near to death. Uh, follow up with the Avatar charging in, causing two wounds to Lysander with nothing in return. Uh, this squad of Wraith Guard uh, didn't really do much. Should have shot with them. I don't know what I was thinking there. Uh, this squad of Dire Avengers, guided, fortuned, and doomed on that squad, gunned them down and charged in, so there's only two left. And those two just would not die, even with follow up attacks. I just can't believe it. Uh, this fire prism after boosted with this one over here, fired on that to no avail. So we're moving on to Space Marines turn two. Top of turn two, uh, we had reserves come in of this flyer, which I absolutely cannot stand my opponent for bringing in, knowing that I don't have flyers with all his petty excuses. And this land speeder here. Land speeder didn't really do much of anything. Uh, this combat was a total gong show here. Lost a couple of wraith guard to the flyer. Uh, this fire prism wound up being stunned, so can't fire but snapshots, can't move at all. This combat took out one of them, but otherwise, absolute gong show, so nowhere going there. So, on to the bottom of turn two and see what I can do to retaliate. Bottom of turn two, this squad of Dire Avengers here has finally wrapped up that combat, which isn't going to work out well for me. Uh, we performed a glance from those rangers on that drop pod in the process, so slowly trying to whittle it down. Uh, this fire prism couldn't move or shoot, uh, couldn't move and could only shoot snap fire, so I had to support this one instead. Blew up his prayer that he had here. Uh, this squad of Wraith Guard wrecked this good old skimmer here. And the Avatar and Lysander still in a gong show combat where nothing's going down. So, continuing on to the next turn. Alright, Space Marines turn three wrap up. Uh, fired at this group with that. Took out two of them, had to look out sort of save my Exarch. This Deathwing launcher managed to do nothing. Uh, he managed to wreck my one fire prism with this tank over here. This flyer absolutely did nothing to my Wraith Guard. But the Avatar finally taken out, but we reduced him to one wound in the process. So one for one, we'll see what can be done here. This is going to be pretty drastic. So moving on to the bottom of turn three. All right, bottom of turn three wrap up. I had my Dire Avengers take cover behind that barrier there, which looks like it got nudged a bit again. There we go. Had the fire prism slide over to give it its jinx save and took out the artillery over there with a concentrated shot. Uh, nothing done to this flyer. Don't mind the template. This is still a wreck. Dire Avengers sweep around, getting ready to rush up and go for that objective. Had these Wraith Guard and their Warlock going against uh, Lysander here to try and tie him up or take him out. And he challenged my Warlock and they decided to take it, being a little bit crazy, and that didn't work out for me. So now my Wraith Guard is going to sit there and possibly succumb to Wraith Sight. So we'll see how this goes on turn 4. 
All right, I think the Space Marines round. That tank over there fired at my Dire Avengers, and sorry, no, the tank fired at my Fire Prism. Uh, luckily, my Jinx safe covered me there. This Deathwind launcher fired at my Dire Avengers, and it caused Eldrad to take a wound and me to lose one of my Dire Avengers. So unfortunate there. Uh, combat over here. Lost a couple of Wraith Guard, but couldn't do anything to him. No surprise there with his two up armor, three up pinball. And this aircraft here fired at my Pathfinders in the building. Managed to take out another one of them. That two of cover is not being me as well as I hoped it would. So, moving on to my turn, and we'll see what I can pull off here. Alright, final of Eldar turn. Uh, these Dire Avengers took position behind the Spire Prism that swooped over this way as they covered. Eldrad fortuning them just in case of any firing. Which I forgot to take advantage of last time. Gotta remind myself of that. This squad Dire Avengers just busted out over here, uh, firing at the the drop pod, but to no avail. And we still need to do this uh, assault for Lysander and my Wraith Guard. I completely forgot about it. So here come my three shots. And I don't believe any of those hit. Because it's 3-2-2. Two, two. Lysander's turn. Lysander gets at least one there. Gets two. Three. Three. And that wipes out the last... Alright, cut off the end of the last turn due to lack of space, so I'll make this as quick as I can for clearing things out. Uh, this unit was wiped down to the last three guys, including the Exarch, and are currently running and will not be able to regroup. I just tried. I forgot to take this at the end of the last turn. And Lysander has put himself in with my Rangers, so all I can really do is sit there and be charged. Uh, this group of Dire Avengers is now under the effects of Guide and Fortune. So they're going to be okay to take this objective and hopefully hold on to that to win the game. So here we go. All right, and bottom of the turn recap. The Fire Prism moves into position, takes out the Whirlwind Launcher, wherever it was, on this drop pod. And Freak Axon over here, we get a rending shot on Lysander and take him out. So that's two objectives for me. And all Joel has is his first blood. So let's see what happens now. Does the game end? Alright, so rolling off here. So here we go. It's in the building. It's a two, so game ends. With six to one for Eldar. First game of sixth edition, first victory.